All right, here we are again. I had it zoomed in further than that, but it doesn't. Just when I started recording, it said no. It didn't want to let me in any further. I'm going to try to come in with more than I can, but it ain't going to let me. I'm blocked right there. I can could, I could zoom in and take a picture of it, but I can't uh, any further on the recording, but this will work. The reason you're seeing that haze, and uh, hopefully it's showing up on the video, is... Uh, I don't know when I put it in the house. That's the cloud layer as I was discussing coming by. But I hope, or I pray, I should say, I pray that you see that light glare underneath those clouds. I see it on the screen, and I'm praying that's showing up on the video. This is an awfully good camera, so I'd say it is. Wow. Amy, you, you, Cody, you all see that. Mm -hmm. It's glowing gold under there. It's yeah, glowing well. gold. And under to and to the left of it and I, to me that's the lord telling us this is his gift to us he said here it is have a look he's giving us gold in the sky praise jesus wow let me see if i can adjust it just a little bit more as as we know we got to keep following that old moon but she's moving we're moving it's all it's all monumental right Almost getting the clouds. Almost. Yeah. I believe we got it, though. I can't tell how that front's moving in, eh? Uh, what way? It's coming in the south. That could be. Honestly, that could be off that tropical. There's hurricane. Thing it's out, out in the ocean. Now, I don't think that's off of uh, <laughs> the one in Florida yet, but it could be. We'd have to look at the satellite view. Those outer bands stretch a long way, and where those clouds are coming out of the south, we see we don't normally get the we don't normally get the uh, weather from the south here. It generally comes from the west and the northwest. Out from the Great Lakes. Well, the winter time comes down off the Great Lakes, but uh, summertime it comes from the west. That's Cart Racer and, and Dabu and uh, Sparrow and Cannon. They're sending it out here just to get us wet <laughs> Thanks, guys. we appreciate that of course this is just a dry out here on where i'm standing uh i, I just i swear i seen a uh, grasshopper spitting dust there a minute ago because <laughs> i'm gonna tell you it is dry it's cracking but you know where i'm on top of this mountain west virginia that's the well, i live in clay county and they, they they named it after a man by the name of clay but they named it correct there's, there's a lot of red and white clay here and yeah, I don't know, a week's worth of dry weather, and it it just looks like you're in the Sahara, man. You know, I mean, it's, it's good. my my stepson when he first came here, uh, he was totally flipping out on the fact that we have beach sand at at fifteen hundred feet on this mountain. <laughs> it's what it looks like. It looks like you're down at the beach. And we did find blue sand. And we found blue clay too. Yeah, that's, I don't know what that is. I'm somebody might tell me in the comment what that is. I, I'm certainly not a not a geologist by no means. Not a geologist, although I do like that kind of thing. And I have stayed in a Motel Six once or twice in my life. So maybe I am part-time geologist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never heard of blue clay neither, son, until I bought this farm. I, I never have either. Uh oh, I, I have uh, dash hounds, douche hounds. We call them winter dogs. <laughs> That's what they are. Uh, they're uh, rabbit dogs, basically, and there's a lot of rabbit on this farm. And uh, even at night, they'll go out there and they'll jump a rabbit out of the garden or something and take off, and you'll hear them sound like a fox and a hound, just yapping, yapping, yapping through the woods. And the youngest <coughs> one come running back because he got scared. Yeah, the littlest one just come running back. I don't know what he he probably seen a rabbit. And the rabbit seen him. The rabbit went one way, he went the other because he come back a flying, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy look at that up there look yeah. at that how beautiful that is Amazing. it is 
And as I said, the Lord gives us plenty of gifts. It's just that most people don't take advantage of them. They're free. To, it's like his gift of salvation. Free, no charge. Three, no charge. Eternal salvation. Now. Eternal salvation. Most people don't want to stop long enough to know this one. Well, I mean, you know, all they have to do is believe, and I mean, you have to believe in their heart. You have to believe in your heart. Uh, you can't just say it and not mean it. There's so many people say so many things nowadays, and they don't mean them. You got to mean it in your heart, and you go by Romans 10, 9, they'll... You know, man, it uh, confess with thy own mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ died for your sins and that you believe him and that you love him and that you trust him and that you honor him, then you indeed will be saved. Again, that is a paraphrase of 10.9. That's a, that's a Reverend Pastor Kellyism, as my wife would say. I, you know, I, that's how I do things. But, uh, that moon, that moon is looking awful bright in that candy screen. It is looking good. I'm getting some good footage. There's a lot of Baptists out there to say, uh, well, he's not a Baptist. Well, yeah, I'm an independent Christian minister ordained through National Association of Independent Christian Ministers, ministry out of South Carolina. Uh, but, you know, I, I hold uh, faith in, in the Lord, I hold faith in the Bible. I, I hold faith in Sola Scriptoris. You know, the Bible is the Word, and the only Word of God, and it is God-breathed. The honesty else, it is God-breathed. So, yeah, that's what I believe. And yes, there are going to be people that are probably going to say, well, Pastor, you can uh, believe in all this and other, Romans 10, 9, John 3, 16, and all these other conversional scriptures. And uh, you still not be saved because you haven't been baptized. Well, you're right. But, you know, I'm of the heart that if a man or woman believes and wants to be saved and wants to repent, because, see, the one thing that prefaces Romans 10, 9 that a lot of people don't, 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 don't talk about, and, they don't, and it also it is postscript to Romans 10, 9, that once you have done all that, you have to repent of your sins and turn away from your wicked ways, and you want to change. And then, and only then, should you start looking into being baptized. And indeed, you need to be baptized to get to the gate of heaven. You do indeed. You have to be washed in the Spirit, washed with the blood of the Lamb, and bleached white. Revelation. You have to be. And so. I, yes, I believe all of that, and I preach all of that, and I believe all of that. Excuse me, Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I believe all of that, and I preach all of that, and I want all of that, but, you know, you can only say it all in, a, in so many words and on a page, and, I, you know, I could type everything I just said up in my about page on Harvey Mountain Ministries, and uh, to be honest... Honestly, how many of y'all would read all the way to the bottom? Everybody nowadays wants a video, and they want a five-minute video or less. Get to the point. Get the point done. Next. Like, share, fade, forward. <laughs> and that is the culture we live in, which, hey, you know, that's fine. That just makes my job harder. Makes my job harder because I have to bring it down to where you'll like, share, fave, and forward my word. And the word that I'm giving you is that Jesus Christ is Lord and he came down to earth. He walked among men. He died on the cross for your sins. And three days later, he rose into heaven for you to have a free path to heaven. Forgiven. Forgiven. You're forgiven. God forgave you. All you have to do is repent and accept that fact. Get yourself baptized. A lot of preaching to be watching the moon, I know, but can't be doing that. But Dabu wouldn't be doing all that preaching watching the moon. He'd be preaching something else, bless his heart. But he listens to me preaching, though. I love that. I do, Dabu. I love you, brother. <laughs> I do love you. 
I love that. And whenever whenever he's doing a video or, or Spiro either one, he'll be looking over in that chat section and see if Pastor Kelly's got anything to say. And if I say something that piques their interest, you know, they they they, they follow by that. They do. Uh, they they notate that. Oh, I'm not going to be picking up any uh any of those fireflies as they call them. I don't think I might. Uh, you never know. You never know what that camera captures until you get it on the computer. You don't. And uh, as my wife just said, it's it's getting really hazily cloudy. There's a reason they call the, the Appalachian certain parts of the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's always some sort of haze here. Now this isn't quite the Blue Ridge. Uh, the Blue Ridge is about 50 miles to my south east but it's the foothills of the blue ridge so we still get the haze see what i mean y'all heard it didn't you there's them coyotes again oh, that's all right there goes another jet about the same altitude i'm not going to move the camera to get it about the same altitude as those ones that flew past the moon there while ago and he is not leaving any contrail no. nothing just maybe i don't know maybe two three hundred yards is behind it and it's gone nothing there but the ones that flew by that if you look i'm gonna pan the camera a little bit if you look if it'll show up to the left or to the right of that moon they're all dispersed and they go go back miles did you guys hear that did you hear that maybe over the hill did you down the hall yeah did you hear it we'll go back to the moon that's all right they're talking to Jake. yeah my uh my bloodhound i do have a another dog beside the winter dog i have a bloodhound full blood bloodhound looks just like the ones from the clampets from beverly hillbilly if you guys ever seen that <laughs> old jake's what we call him but uh you, if you've never heard if you there goes the dog the winter dog was on the trail of a rabbi probably that's what i call rabbits uh if you've never heard a bloodhound talk to an owl <laughs> you've never heard something uh, one of these days i'm gonna record that i'm gonna video him talking to the owls yeah. night now You'll be sound asleep two, three o'clock in the morning and just about jump out of the bed. You got that werewolf in your bedroom, right? It's not. It's Jake. He's talking to the owls. When I first got here. Oh, my son, when he first got here from Pittsburgh, he's city boy. I mean, died in a wool city boy. Man, he's got city dripping off his ears when he gets here. Right? He's not so bad anymore, but he did. I'm telling you, you can see the city on him from a, a country mile and a half behind a mountain underneath a truck with your blinders on. You can see the city on that boy. Well, the first few nights he was here, <laughs> old Jake out there talking, talking to those owls, let alone, uh, let alone the owl itself. Uh, you know, I have screech owls here. I have barn owls here. Uh, I have, uh, I don't know what kind of other owls, there's several different ones, but because you can tell, you can discern that they're different sounds, so. But, uh, yeah, Cody, he, uh, bless his heart. I think he got a few sleepless nights out of that, didn't you, Cody Carey? Oh, one or two. Ah, uh, well, this, we got 14 minutes left on this card. It's clouding over. It's clouding over, so I'm going to lose it anyway. But uh, 14 minutes left on this card, and uh, I think we may have more battery than we got card left. I'm going to click it off because I see a clearing coming. And uh, if that clears out, I might go ahead and get to the last 14 minutes of that. But if not, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, subscribe my channel. I'd appreciate it very much. Uh, go visit Hardway Mountain Ministry. That's HardwayMTMinistry.com. And uh, give it a look. I try to keep the news up daily. I'm not one of those ones that uh, has five-day-old news on there. I, I keep it up, or I try to, as long as the Lord is willing. Now, it may be late some days, but I try. But uh, 
Well, not the doctor's appointments or whatever, but there are power outages. I get a lot of power outages around here. It's but, not all preaching. Either. It's not all preaching. I'll give you some preaching if you want it, though. That's what the Lord calls me to do, and I will give it to you if you want it. Did you see that stripe? I hope that was on there. I hope that was on there. Oh, mercy sakes, it looked like there's a swirl coming out of that cloud on the left. I hope the camera picked it up. Oh, there went. Did you see that? Did you see that orb? Yeah, it was right above the tree line. Oh, mercy sakes, and we're running out of disk space. Oh, mercy sakes. We're just now starting to pick up, and anyhow. But as I was going on about all that, I appreciate all that. If you do that, I mean, you really would. And, and Lord bless you for everything, and I appreciate that. Uh, I really do. Uh, as, new, as, as you all know, I'm new at this, but... I, you know, I try to get the word out around here, and uh, it's kind of difficult for me to get out and do things physically, and, uh, well, weather and things like that. I live in the woods, uh, so, I, you know, to be dependable to get to a church every Sunday and every Wednesday, and, you know, and this and the other, for me to preach there, it'd be, it'd be difficult on me. I mean, the Lord will find a way, I know, but so I found a way of doing it online. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to work out. Uh, I've already had two souls saved uh, through private chat. At least they say they were. I believe they were. I felt it. I could feel the Lord's presence when we were talking. Uh, I've had two people turn back to the Lord that was had turned away. I've answered numerous questions, and I've helped lots of people uh, find their way. Just, just in a little while that I've been doing this online, and I think the Lord give us the Internet. I think he give us this information <clears throat> to be able to use to get to people. No time in the history of the world, in the history of the world, has his word been more readily available than it is right now. Right now, in so many different formats, forms, formats. Uh, you know, we went, we have came a long way from the Gutenberg. You know, uh, hand stamping each page at a time, or even further back than that, the scribes. Uh, you know, transcribing from memory or transcribing from word of mouth, and uh, page after page after page after page after page, writing it down, and then whoop, done with that one, write another one. We've came a long way from that, folks, and the Lord has blessed us with that, and I think that's one of the reasons I've, I've found the way here. But uh, anyhow about it, you go to Hardway Mountain Ministry, uh, there's, not, there's not a whole lot of preaching on there. Some of those uh, articles I post will, uh, if I can relate them, and I, well, I can relate them all to Scripture, but uh, if it's a really a standing out Scripture, to relate to it, I will put that scripture above the article, between the picture and above the article, and then there's a link to the main article. But other than that, it's the news. Well, news, I shouldn't say that. Oh, network news, I'll have to delete that. Uh, the news you won't get on network news at 6.30, right? But uh, anyhow about it, God bless y'all, every single one of you. And may God bless every one of you, one and all. And uh, I'm going to shut her down for now, and I may pick back up, but I, the way I feel physically right now, I don't know. Love y'all, but God loves you more. Pastor Kelly is signing off.